Hi, this is Dr. Riyas Khan, Department of Swalazi, Government Degree College, Narayan Pet, District Mahbub Nagar. Today's our topic is cyclostomata. Cyclostomata, it is it is important for the B.Sc. B.Gs. second semester and third semester zoology student purpose. Okay, now we are entering the our topic that is cyclostomata cyclostomata now we discussed here the about cyclostomata's general characters ma cyclostomata has uh, some significance uh, features ma in come to the history and the past generally vertebrates and higher vertebrates divided into two division ma just listen here two division higher vertebrates divided into two division one agnatha second gnathostomata the gnathostomatas includes now we are seeing that animals like fish amphibians reptiles apes and mammals also human being are belongs to the division gnathostomata ma Second, uh, the first division is Agnatha. Second division is Gnathostomata. Agnatha divisions are the world first vertebrates. They are extinct, ma. Agnatha all species are extinct. Only one class animals lives that is Cyclostomata animals. So they are the, they are the, uh, they are the primitive species, ma. Okay, they are the only species. The all Agnatha species are extinct, not there on the earth. Only the Cyclostomata species there, ma. That is the importance of the Cyclostomata. Okay. Now Cyclostomata. That's why I mentioned ma the first point of the Cyclostomata characters. They are the extant jawless vertebrate. Extant means present day living organisms. Means jawless, do not have jaw. Agnatha means do not have jaw, but Gnathostomata has a jaws. That is the difference between the Agnatha, Gnathostomata means jaw having jaw. Agnatha jawless. So they are the first extant jawless vertebrate. Extant means what ma? Present day living organisms we call extant. Okay, next. It includes ma. It includes lamprey and hog fishes. The Cyclostomata includes two species. One is lamprey. One is hog fishes. Next point. They are sanguivorous and necrophagous organism. They are sanguivorous, necrophagous organism. Sanguivorous means what? Sanguivorous means what? Means blood sucking animals are called sanguivorous right blood sucking animals are called sanguivorous what about the necrophagus necrophagus means debris and dead body eaters are called necrophagus okay they are sanguivorous or necrophagus organisms okay i think you are clear next next point ma in lamprey in in lamprey in lamprey saliva lampridin is present what i am saying in lamprey saliva lampridin is present it is a anticoagulant substance it is a anticoagulant substance what anticoagulant substance means what what anticoagulant anticoagulant means it prevent the blood clotting during blood sucking time Generally, here I am saying what ma sanguivorous means what ma blood sucking. During blood sucking time, that lampridin prevent the blood clotting. But so it prevent the blood clotting, then easily that organism suck the blood. That is the lampridin, the anticoagulant. In human being also, one anticoagulant is there ma that is heparin. What is the function of the heparin in our body? In in our body, we have a heparin as anticoagulant. It prevent the blood clotting in blood vessels. If we have do not have produce heparin, what happen ma? 
in our blood vessels blood clot if blood clot what happen ma the blood can't goes to your heart if blood can't goes to your heart what happen you know the result generally if the the if some patient suffer from the cardiac arrest the doctors first the given the heparin injection ma when give the heparin injection that uh, bust the blood clot in the blood vessels the first treatment of the cardiac patient is the given the heparin injection ma what is the function ma it clot it bust the blood clot okay that's the secondary things okay so what i am saying ma in lamprey saliva lampridin is present it work as a anticoagulant right next point they are pyclothermic are cold blooded animals pyclothermic and cold blooded means what cold means it not a cold blood ma what it has a definitions now listen if organisms if organisms changed their body temperature based on their surrounding weather what i am saying my here if any organisms changed their body temperature changed their body temperature based on remember based on their surrounding weathers it is called pyclothermic or cold blooded animals for your convenient purpose we me or you are human being our body temperature is 37 degrees celsius or 98.6 fahrenheit the temperature even summer and rainy season and winter seasons we have maintained same constant body temperature ma 97 point 98.6 or 37 degrees celsius it's constant body temperature but this group organisms body temperature changed based on the weathers in summer it has a different type in rainy in, uh, in winter season they have a different type of uh, body they maintain different uh, type of body temperatures throughout the year but human being we maintain constant body temperature that is 37 degrees celsius even in summer in rainy in winter season if our temperature is uh, fluctuated what happen we say oh, that person get sick okay that is the uh, difference uh, between the warm blooded our body temperature is constant constant that's why we are the warm blooded animals but they these organisms are the cold blooded because their body temperature is not constant it is say it is changed based on the surrounding weathers that is the pyclothermic next ma body divided into head trunk tail their body divided into head trunk tail next paid fins are absent unpaid fins are present paid fins are absent what paid fins are what paired fins means pelvic and pectoral fins are called paired fins ma pelvic and pectoral fins are called paired fins are absent unpaired means what dorsal fins and ventral fins and caudal fins are called unpaired fins which one ma dorsal fins ventral fins and caudal fins are called unpaired fins so unpaired fins are present paid fins are absent next ma next point paid eyes are present yeah two eyes are present next single nostril is present single we have a two nostril we have a two nostril pore but uh, the species has only one nostril pore <coughs> next ma cartilage endoskeleton is present which ma cartilage endoskeleton is present means their endoskeleton is made up with the cartilage so this is about the some feature of the uh, cyclostomata okay okay we'll erase these things next ma now next uh, next character ma <coughs> skin is scaleless is skin is scaleless next ma true coelom is present which is present in the midderm midderm layer ma mid mesoderm na is which is present in the mesoderm layers so we call true coelom here ma the cyclostoma cyclo means circular ma the mouth is the cyclostomas mouth is circular hence the name is cyclostomata uh, having the circular mouth then it is called cyclostomata next point ma intestine has tip 
tiplosal intestine has tiplosal what is the function of the tiplosal the function is ma it enhances the absorption it enhances the absorption area of the intestines how see i will tell i will discuss here differentiation i will tell you here the difference ma uh, what tiplosal is in here it is the intestine ma right uh, without tiplosal intestine it is intestine with tiplosal t intestine tiplosal it is uh, without tiplosal intestines if you pour water in this intestine what happen ma it goes directly uh, it can't uh, uh, hold even 10 minutes just just enter the water and goes out this is the without tiplosal intestine this is the intestine with tiplus if you hold if you pour water in this intestine what happen ma the water hold in this in this finger like structures means what happen ma the absorption the absorption activity and the absorption area increase in the verma intestines so what i am saying ma tiplosal increase the intestines absorption area yes it has a number of full automatically it absorb more water than the normal intestines this is the tiplosal <clears throat> okay ma now tiplosal is complete next uh, in cyclostomata ma stomach spleen pancreas are absent which one ma stomach spleen pancreas are absent one more thing next point ma respiration is carried by respiration is carried by where ma respiration is carried by gills okay next next ma heart has two chamber that is one auricle one ventricle what ma heart has two chamber one auricle one ventricle our heart our heart consist four chamber two auricle two ventricle but there only two chamber heart <coughs> see ma here uh, one more thing you observe evolutionary point of view ma see uh, the cyclostomata have two heart fishes also two heart amphibians three reptiles incomplete four aves complete four mammals complete four you observe these are the evolutionary point of view important ma how the hearts and other organs develop from sing how the organism develop from single cell single cell to multicellular just it is not relevant to this topic generally ma when you observe the invertebrates and vertebrates you observe the one in amoeba or single cell gradually how the develop the multicellular human being if you, it has that type of relation between these things ma we need to be we need to micro observation for the tall things okay okay leave it that <clears throat> now ma brain is now ma brain is covered by single menix primitive protection layers their brain is covered only single layer but our brain is covered by three layer ma okay dura mater pia mater arca mater arcanoid mater means it's advanced we are so their brain is covered by single menix primitive protection layer in come to thuban being the not a single layer ma three layers is developed okay next eight eight or 10 pairs of cranial nerves are present eight or 10 pairs of cranial nerves are present okay next point excretion is carried by pronephric or mesonephric kidneys our our excretion is carried by the metanephric meta mean advanced metanephric kidneys their excretion is carried by pronephric or mesonephric kidney, kidneys ma next ma hepatic portal system is present okay hepatic portal system is present ma next ma classification of next what ma classification of these are the these are the some uh, characters of the cyclostomata ma one more three characters is there ma first renal portal system is absent ma there next character ma the uh, next ma gonoducts also ma gonoducts also here absent ma gonoduct also absent ma some are the uh, they are unisexual some are the bisexual 
वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग मै हियर देर देर लाइफ इज टू इनक्लूड मा देर लाइफ इज टू इनक्लूड मा देर लाइफ इज टू इनक्लूड मा अम्मो अम्मो सीटोस लारवा देर लाइफ इज टू इनक्लूड विच लारवा मा अम्मो सीटोस लारवा दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट मा द सैक्लोस्टमाटा लाइफ इज टू इनक्लूड अम्मो सीटस लारवा मा नेक्स्ट पॉइंट मा देर डेवलपमेंट मा their development include their develop their developments may be direct or indirect what i am saying ma develop development or direct direct or indirect direct means what ma direct means what ma the the organism if organisms produce young ones this is called direct development indirect means what ma indirect development means what ma so if organisms first produce the egg later that later that eggs develop in uh, later that eggs give later hatch into the larvae means it has three stages egg then larvae but here the here in direct what ma what ma the the organisms gives direct younger ones you want best example if you take hen uh, first hen produce the egg later that egg come later that x uh, gives the uh, younger one ma that is the indirect development direct is a human being development we give direct young ones that is the direct development these are the some uh, characters of cyclostomates ma these are the important for ma now their classification ma cyclostomata classifications here ma cyclostomata is classified into two order classified into two order one is petromyzantia second one is myxena idea now example for petromyzantia is petromyzan and lampre now example for myxena idea is what ma hug fish and myxen it, it also called eel a slime eel <coughs> okay ma these are the uh, cyclostomata general characters and their classifications uh, in exam point of view the petromyzan and uh, and myxen characters also important ma uh, we'll discuss it tomorrow this class okay these are the ma cyclostomates general characters and uh, thank you now the class is end thank you